Hello students and my dear friends. In this session, we'll discuss some of the important pathology multiple choice questions, which will be helpful in the lab technician recruitment examination. First question, site of hematopoiesis in fetus less than two months is option A, spleen, option B, liver, option C, bone marrow, and option D, yolk sac. Here, the right answer is yolk sac. So what is meant by hematopoiesis? Hematopoiesis means a formation of blood cellular components. Hematopoiesis means a formation of blood cellular components. So here, yolk sac, it produces like, it produces like a blood cells, like in the fetus less than of two months. And after two months, liver and spleen they produce like a blood cells and in case of adults bone marrow produce like a blood cells next question production and development and maturation of cellular elements of blood is option a erythropoiesis option b hematopoiesis option c thrombopoiesis option d leukopoiesis here, the right answer is option B, hematopoiesis. So, as we discussed in the previous slide, so hematopoiesis means formation of blood cellular components. And if you see other options, erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis means that is a production of the RBC. And thrombopoiesis means that is platelet production. And leukopoiesis means that is WBC production. Next question, pick up the, pick up the, a granulocytes from the following option a neutrophils option b basophils option c monocytes and option d isnophils here the right answer is monocytes option c monocytes so here uh, if you see wbc wbc they consist of granulocytes and a granulocytes so what is mean by granulocytes granulocytes they have small granules inside of them and a granulocytes they have no granules inside of the cytoplasm and if you see neutrophils basophils isnophils they comes under granulocytes they are called as granulocytes monocytes and lymphocytes they are a granulocytes so here monocytes are a granulocytes next question type of cell which is responsible for humoral immunity what is mean by humoral immunity? Humoral immunity, it is the antibody mediated immunity. Option A, monocyte. Option B, lymphocytes. Option C, basophils. Option D, neutrophils. Here, the right answer is option B, B lymphocytes. So, humoral immunity is the adaptive immunity or it is the acquired immunity. It is mediated by production of antibodies. And these antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes. So here answer is B lymphocytes. Next question. Percentage of T lymphocytes present in peripheral blood is? Option A, 60%. Option B, 70%. Option C, 80%. Option D, 50%. Here the right answer is option B, 70%. So what is mean by lymphocytes? So lymphocytes are the major components of the adaptive immunity that is acquired immunity. And these T lymphocytes are directly involved in destroying the infected host cells. So they directly like destroy the infected host cells and they produce the cytokines and they activate the other immune cells and they regulate the immune response. So generally 70% uh, they are present in the peripheral plate. Actual range is 68.1% plus or minus 4.2. So generally they are present 68.1 plus or minus 4.2. So here in these options, the 70 is the right answer. Next question, blood cell which provide the body's main uh, defense invading the pathogens option a rbc option b leukocytes option b thrombocytes 
option D, reticulocytes. Here, the right answer is leukocytes. So leukocytes, uh, they protect the body from the infection. So they are the like uh, main defense against the like uh, pathogens. And if you see RPC, RBC, it carries oxygen from the lungs and it delivers it throughout the body. And if you see thrombocytes, thrombocytes form the blood clots to slow or to stop the bleeding. And the thrombocytes, they also help in the wound healing. And if you see reticulocytes, what are the reticulocytes? Reticulocytes are the immature RBC, immature red blood cells. So these reticulocytes move oxygen from lungs to every cell in the body. So here the right answer is leukocytes. Leukocytes is the leukocytes are the first defense mechanism. Next question, which are responsible for first line defense? Option A, neutrophils, monocytes. Option B, monocytes, basophils. Option C, basophils, lymphocytes. Option D, isnophils, lymphocytes. So in the previous slide we discussed like a WBC, uh, like uh, they protect the body from the like infection. So in the WBC, what cells are like responsible for the first line defense? So here the right answer is option A, neutrophils and monocytes. So neutrophils and monocytes, uh, they are the like a WBC, they are responsible for first line defense. So if you see neutrophils, neutrophils, they help the body uh, again like to fight against the infections. And monocytes, uh, so they are responsible for the phagocytosis, that is engulfment of uh, bacteria by the WBC. And they are, help, uh, they are responsible for the cytokine production. Next question, lifespan of WBC ranges from option A, 2 to 3 days, option B, 5 to 7 days, option C, 13 to 20 days, option D, 120 days. Here the right answer is option C, 13 to 20 days. Next question, purpose of applying tonicate during venous blood collection is to option A, allow the venous flow, option B, restrict the venous flow and make the veins lie flat, option C, allow the venous flow and make the veins stand up, option D, restrict the venous flow and make the veins stand out. Here the right answer is option D, restrict the venous flow and makes the veins stand out. So here if you see tonicate, what is tonicate? It creates the temporary pressure and an artificial occlusion in the blood flow. So here as it like uh, create the like a temporary pressure and artificial occlusion, so it is easier for the phlebotomist to identify the veins. So veins become more prominent. It makes the like phlebotomist to identify the veins more properly. And many of the other studies also shows that uh, when we apply the like a tonicate, the veins will dilate and they increases the surface area uh, immediately after tightly placed a tonicate and it is make more suitable for drawing the blood sample. Next question organ called graveyard of option a bone marrow option b heart option c spleen option d thymus here the right answer is option c spleen so if you see a uh, spleen is the largest organ in the body means in the lymphatic system it is the largest organ in the lymphatic system and it is also known as graveyard of RBC because the RBCs are destroyed in the spleen. So if you see in one second, approximately 2.5 million RBCs are destroyed in the spleen. So spleen is the largest organ in the lymphatic system. Next question, compared to capillary blood in venous blood, PCV, RBC count and HB concentration are slightly option A decreased, option B no change, option C increase or decrease, option D increased. Here the right answer is option D increased. So here uh, if we take the like a venous blood, so the packer cell volume, RBC count and HB concentration are 
slightly increased when compared to the capillary plate. Next question. Delay in releasing tonicate during vein puncture leads to Option A. Hemodilution Option B. Hemoconcentration Option C. Fluid shift Option D. Fluid shift and hemoconcentration Here the right answer is Option D. Fluid shift and hemoconcentration So what is mean by hemoconcentration? That is increase in the concentration of blood cells so prolonged uh, tonicate time, uh, it leads to the like blood pooling at the wing puncture side. So the automatically it leads to the like fluid shift and uh, increase in the hemoconcentration. So what is the maximum time uh, for the tonicate? That is two minutes, 1.5 to two minutes. Next question, using two fine needle for wing puncture results in option A, hemolysis, Option B, hemoconcentration. Option C, hemodilution. Option D, none of the above. Here the right answer is hemolysis. So you, uh, like if you use the like a small bore needle, so it results in the uh, like a hemolysis. So because uh, like it results in the large vacuum force uh, that is applied to the blood. So it causes the shear stress on the RBC. So which means it leads to the rupture of the RBC. So generally use the correct needle that is in between 20 to 22 gauge needle. Next question, the anticoagulant which is not suitable for blood bank application as it is toxic. Option A, double oxalate. Option B, ADTA. Option C, citrate. And option D, heparin. Here the right answer is double oxalate. So what is double oxalate? Double oxalate, it is a mixture of ammonium oxalate and potassium oxalate. Double oxalate consists of ammonium oxalate and potassium oxalates. So these oxalates are not useful for making a peripheral blood smear now because they do not preserve the like morphology of the WBC. And they are not used in the blood bank because calcium oxalate, it precipitate in the blood and as it precipitate in the blood, it is harmful and it is toxic. So that's what oxalates are not uh, suitable for blood bank uh, or not suitable in the anticoagulants in the blood bank. Next question, the anticoagulant which has chelating action. Option A, EDTA. Option B, heparin. Option C, double oxalate. Option D, citrate. Here the right answer is EDTA. So EDTA, uh, it, is a anti, it is an anticoagulant which has chelating action. So what is chelating action? It removes free calcium ions, so which are essential for the coagulation. So what are the advantage of this EDTA? EDTA, it preserves the morphology of the RBC and it is also used for platelet counting. And what is the disadvantage? EDTA is not used for coagulation studies. Next question. If a needle stick injury occurs, clean the area with option A, 0.5% hypochlorite solution, option B, 70% isopropanol, option C, 0.1% hypochlorite solution, option D, all of the above. So here the right answer is 0.1% hypochlorite solution. So in general, uh, we need not to use any like uh, antiseptic or any disinfectant. So like uh, washing under running tap water uh, with uh, plenty of soap is enough. So but here uh, in this options, the answer is 0 0.1 hypochlorite solution. Next question, which of the PPE is essential for capillary blood collection? Option A, eye goggles. Option B, lab coat. Option C, gloves. Option D, all of the above. Here, the right answer is all of the above. What is PPE? Personal protective equipment. So, while collecting the capillary blood sample, so being a laboratory technician, what you must wear, that is goggles, lab coat, and the gloves. Next question, why the first R why the first or two drops are discarded in capillary blood collection? So first two drops are discarded in capillary blood collection. Option A, contaminated with the tissue fluid. Option B, 
contaminated with uh, skin debris. Option C, first drop contain greater volume of platelets. And option D, all of the above. Here the right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question, the anticoagulant which is preferred for arterial blood collection. So uh, the anticoagulant which is helpful, which is preferred for the like arterial blood collection. So here option A, EDTA, option B, sodium citrate, option C, heparin, option D, sodium fluoride. Here the right answer is option C, heparin. So heparin is the natural anticoagulant. It prevents clotting by inactivating the thrombin so that it prevents the conversion of fibrin origin to fibrin. Next question. Time taken for maturation of reticulocytes into adult red blood cells is option A, 24 hours, option B, 24 to 48 hours, option C, 48 to 72 hours, option D, 12 hours. So here the right answer is option B, 24 to 48 hours. So reticulocytes are the immature red blood cells. So these immature red blood cells, uh, they turn into like uh, complete red blood cells within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you.